Over coffee with a friend, she told me about another friend of hers who had recently lost his mother and that his father had a story that just might be worth telling. On the 3rd of December 2003, I drove to the home of Lolly Sokolov. He greeted me at the door with his two dogs, standing either side of him, one the size of a small pony, the other smaller than my cat. Come, he said, as they turned and marched into a nearby lounge dining area. I followed. Sit, were the next words he spoke to me. I sat at the dining table as he and the two dogs disappeared out of sight. A few moments later they returned with a cup of coffee. He never asked me how I had my coffee, not then or not at any other time in the next three years. I drank his coffee then. I continued to drink it. We sat and he talked for two hours. I listened to what was essentially the ramblings of an elderly gentleman, spoken with a delightful Eastern European accent, and heard the story of Lully and Vita, given to me in sound bites, grabs, snippets, no coherency to the many, many stories, no linking, time, place, event. But amongst it all, I was starting to get the realm of what was an amazing story. After two hours, I said to him, can I come back and meet with you next week? Depends, he said. How quick can you write? Well, it depends what I'm writing, I said. My story, you have to tell my story. Is there a hurry? Yes, there is. I need to be with her. I need to be with my getter. His grief-stricken face dropped. Tears came. He stood up and walked to a nearby side table, came back with a photo of a smiling Gita. She was beautiful, wasn't she? Yes, she was. This is my Gita. She was beautiful, wasn't she? Yes, she was. And so began my relationship with Lari Sokolov that stretched for the next three years. As we became friends, as I got his story from him, both during, before and after his time in Auschwitz-Birkenau. I hope you enjoy my story as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you. I'm Heather Morris.